I've repeated rows 45 and 46, which were now my rows 47 and 48, and I'm making a repeat of double crochet, chain two, double crochet in my last chain space, and then also another one in the top of chain three, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And this is the end of part seven. Passing off your color one. And now all we've got left to do is to make a nice border. You could of course also just leave it like this. You could make a reverse single crochet border if you'd like that. Um, you could make this next part, which is called a happy ending, your own happy ending. You could use this book or one of like these. This is something I've bought as a used book, a second hand book. It has 150 colorful creative crochet edgings with charts, instructions for turning the corner perfectly every time. And it's full of borders. Borders, 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 borders. I particularly like this one here. Which I think is really beautiful. But yeah, um, for the purpose of my shawl design, I would like to suggest the following. Attach your yarn to the first stitch, or rather the first chain three, the top of the chain three. Chain two. Make a puff stitch into that first chain space by yarn over, go in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, five loops on the hook, seven loops on the hook, nine loops on the hook, pull through all loops, slip stitch close okay chain three make a puff stitch into the closing slip stitch here And then, then make into the next chain space your next puff stitch. Close with slip stitch. Chain two. Make a puff stitch into your next chain space. Chain three, make a puff stitch into your closing chain. Closing chain and a puff stitch into your next chain two space. Closing chain. That looks like this. And I think that's quite cute. So next would be chain two, puff stitch in the next, closing 
closing chain, chain three, puff stitch in the closing chain, closing chain, puff stitch in the next chain two space. Closing chain. I will continue doing this until the end and then it's blocking time. Here we are right at the end and of course there is no happy ending because I have one space less than I need. So lesson in life, touch it. <laughs> Literally at the last point in my show. Yeah. <laughs> so right here, just chain two and make the last puff stitch into the last chain space. And that's it. Fasten off color three. And that is your or rather mine. <laughs> this is rather, this is, <laughs> this is my pollen shawl. Done! And all the wobbly bits will be smoothened out once we've blocked this shawl. Now, um, we also still have to weave in the ends, but I would recommend that you wait with the weaving in ends until we actually blocked the shawl because if you weave in the ends like I do you secure the thread by working one way and then again in the other way which actually stops it from stretching it would kind of lock your shawl into position so you wouldn't be able to stretch it as, uh, stretch it as much as you might want to so just keep the weaving in of the ends here to the end <laughs> yeah so um, I will do that next I will soak my shawl like I did before you've seen that in one of my instructional videos in, in one of my tutorials um, I'm soaking this in water adding a little bit of a, like a drop of shampoo with it in the water only lukewarm water not too warm and i let it soak for 20 to 30 minutes then afterwards don't wring it just squeeze it out gently then you wrap it in a big towel or in a thick towel and you roll it up and then you can step on the towel a couple of times and then you unroll it and you you could pin it down and stretch it and block it to the required size but i find that in the wet state it's actually good enough to just place it on the ground somewhere um, i usually use my balcony actually i just put it on the floor and let it dry there pulling it into shape a little bit and yeah I will show you the finished, finished polish, pollen shawl <laughs> once it's done. Thank you for joining the crochet along. I very much appreciate to have company in this endeavor. And yeah, I'm actually curious if you choose the same border or, or which border you are choosing. Maybe you want to repeat one of the sections and make the shawl even bigger 
or instead of four ply fingering yarn you use another yarn maybe DK and then the shawl maybe you will mal your shawl your yarn and hold it double I'm really curious so um, please tag me in your Instagram posts and let me see your makes thank you bye